We were going for a job, and this policeman stopped me, collected my phone, and was searching. Whereby Inspector General of Police I, have I said it on Twitter. Why? Why I will, will you break? Why will you break it? I will break this thing. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Please, Inspector General of Police have said you should not search our phones. Why are you searching my phone? Did you announce? Why are you searching my phone? The Inspector General of Police have said they should not search phones. Why are you searching my phone? Why are you searching my phone? I'm a freelance writer and I had an encounter with men of the police force um, last month um, in Ibadan, close to Akwata. It was the day before Ilia. They started going through my phones and then they saw pictures of white people that I actually used for a job I did, uh, for an article I wrote. And they were like, oh, I must be your boy and then... They wanted to keep messing with my Slack, Asana and stuff. So I just had to like, just pay them off to just continue my journey. Because they actually drove me from the cab and told the cab driver to go. So, um, I've actually been a victim of um, sex threatening and uh, police threatening. So I can recall, well, on my way to camp from Ibadan, I was stopped and such. I was delayed. Okay, I gave them my phone and they checked it, checked everything. And uh, they didn't see anything there. Then they had to apologize though. But I was delayed, I could not meet up with where I was going to before leaving for Lagos. For me getting to Lagos, I was stopped by the police again. So that was around bigger. I was stopped by the police, I was searched. I told them I'm going to, my, to the camp and uh, they, they searched me even more. They checked my phone again. As they always do. I don't know, maybe these people have what they are looking for on my phone. That's my apps, my Canva, my uh, what I use in doing my short editing, and uh, I'm a, I'm a UI US designer, a graphic designer. So I have some stuff on my phone. Uh, that's my video call, meeting app, and all those things. And they were like, ask what I use it for, just imagine. So I had to explain for letting me go. So I think putting an end to SARS is one good thing, but I don't think these people are, are gone. I don't think they are gone. They are still here. You see those police in Lagos? No, no, no. <laughs> this video showed me, they showed me Shige. So there was one time I was, on, I was going on bike, they stopped the bike guy. I was like, okay, probably it's the bike guy they were stopping. No, it was me they were looking for. I was like, what's of them entered that bike? They said, no, now you won't see. I don't see me. They said, what work do you do? I said, I'm in the market. I, I'm a student. They were like, so you're a student that is in this iPhone. What could you have? They started asking me stupid questions. Like, first off, this is an iPhone. iPhone will be, not be gone or anything, you understand? But those foolish yeah, so those police people were like, okay, let me search your phone. See, you said, I'm not doing your own all this stuff. So they take my phone. They saw that there was nothing there. They were like, what job are you doing that is an iPhone? I said, I'm a digital marketer. I'm going to take. So, um, that was, that was tough. Even most of, most of my guys said, especially if you are, if you are on dread, if you are on the, any other, it's like, it's fine, I don't look at If you are on dread, your hair is full or anything like this. I'm on a problem for, especially if that Lagos. No, no, no problem.